Hello everyone, um, welcome to another video by PageFly. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the continue shopping button to your cart page and how to customize that button. So first, here is the cart page on the storefront. You can see we have the checkout button here. But really, I want to add one more continue shopping button somewhere near this checkout button. So what am I going to do? First, I'm going to go to the Shopify admin dashboard. Here we are at the Shopify admin dashboard. I'm going to go to online store. In themes settings, I'm going to go to edit code. Then I'm going to go to sections, card template dot liquid. So what I'm going to do is to identify where I should put the button. So I want to put it somewhere near the checkout button, right? So I'm going to have to find out where the checkout button is. I'm going to head back to the storefront. Go to inspect. Check out. Here we are. So I'm going to use this part of the content and look for where it is in the Shopify admin dashboard. So here it is. Um, now we're going to have to add some lines of code here. These lines of code I've already prepared for you guys, so you guys can check them out in the description box of this video. Copy, paste, save. Head back to the storefront and refresh. Here it is. Click on the button and you are directed to the catalog of the store. Now Let's try to understand how to make the button look a little better. You can choose to apply either primary button styling or a secondary one to your continuous shopping link. All you need is to replace the line of code for the continuous shopping link with one of the codes that I'm going to provide you shortly. Now let's head, let's head back to this and choose the code. First, I'm going to go with a primary button design. Save. And head back. Let's head back to the storefront. Refresh. Now let's try the secondary um, styling button. Get the new code. Place the code, 
save. Now, but usually um, the styling goes beyond all of that, right? You might want to try some different phones, some more borders, some more hovering, or something like that. So now I'm going to show you how to make it look a little bit more stylized. Let's head back to the um, Shopify admin dashboard. Replace the continue shopping button code with a new line of code. And then go to somewhere near the end of the settings. Copy and paste. As you can see, for this customization part, you can get to decide the phone size the color, the border color, the border width, the border style, or the continuous shopping button. This is only an example. And you are the one um, to make the final modification. Now click on save. Back to the storefront. Refresh. And here it is. A little strange, right? So as I shared previously, you are the one to decide the final design of the button. And that is the end of our video for today. If you want to see more content from PageFly, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or drop us a visit at pagefly.io. Thank you very much and have a good day.